I'm Adam Harry from Bell Boss Souls, and I'm back again with another Bulls unboxing. Today we're looking at two more of the Edge of the Quarantine Zone kits from Weird, these, these new Weird skates. We got to look at them earlier at Gen Con. They're so cool. Uh, they should be out in stores shortly, if, if not by the time you see this video. Uh, really well done, really nice plastic. We were uh, putting them together earlier, just work really well. So today we have the Pathways and the makeshift defenses. Let's go ahead and start with the Pathways box here. Still have it in plastic. Um, what's cool about these Pathways is this is a ruined building, but you can you can combine it with the other kits to create your own crazy contraptions and uh, uh, modular terrain. So I, I'm loving the system, the whole edge of the quarantine zone slash weirdscapes, whatever they want to call it, weird. Uh, that whole system is just fantastic. So let's go ahead and dive in. Just got the plastic wrap off, as you saw, and lots of rumbling of plastic in the box. Here we go. I'm pretty rough on these boxes, so bits tend to pop off, but they're all in the box. Again, there are no instructions in here, so we're going in blind. Uh, there's a one bit, okay. So, these are the pathways, so hang on to the box when you're building these, because you're going to want to refer back to that to see how stuff goes together. Uh, that said, everything goes together pretty logically. Obviously, these are uh, paired staircases there, uh, which makes sense if you look at the box. So that's that. Let's flip these over. They look hollow inside as well. These are some nice, thick plastic uh, stairs, though. So they should be able to support the weight of your models just fine. They look like you could put it, probably put a 25 millimeter model, uh, base model on there, no problem, once you get it all put together. All right, that's the first sprue. Here's the second. This big, thick plastic. These things will are will hold together once you use some plastic glue. I recommend that. Nice sharp clippers, nice sharp hobby knife. Uh, you'll be able to put these together in no time. Uh, and they're pretty sturdy. Once once you let that glue set and everything dries, you shouldn't have any any problem <laughs> playing on these. All right. Here's another set of staircases. So have the crazy. Uh, kind of twisted garden railing on the side there. Very, uh, uh, I don't know, nightmare, Christmas, the nightmare before Christmas theme to me, <laughs> which is very fitting considering the aesthetic. These are nice big stone paths as well, so painting those will be a breeze with some, some gray paint and, you know, shades. So <laughs> here's the next one. So I think we're looking at a total of one, two, three, four, five sprues worth of, of terrain here. So pretty cool stuff. Again, the stone, stone walkways. Not much to say about them other than they look fantastic. They have lots of texture on them. Uh, there's a lot of facets to the stonework as well. Oh, to catch the light, to catch paint. I um, think you're gonna have a pretty easy time making these look good. I think uh, some pretty basic techniques, uh, washing, dry brushing, that type of stuff, doing nice big colors, bold colors there, or subdued, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Make it match. <laughs> if you got the other sets, you can make them all uh, look like they belong together, and then you have a really cool looking set of terrain. So, there's that. There's that back too. Uh, overall, again, fantastic terrain kits. I like seeing more terrain for war games, uh, skirmish games, whatever your, whatever your tabletop gaming is. It really helps get the players uh, in the mindset that they're playing in this universe versus just uh, you know stack of books and using that for for cover or whatever. I, I just like the way that the the terrain brings the players into the universe onto the tabletop. So cool stuff there. That's the last one for pathways. Next up, we're gonna be going through the makeshift defenses. Just got the makeshift defenses on there. By the way, the pathway set allows you to build five staircases on one one broken building this one will allow you to build four barricades one fountain and one ruined building so uh helps even off the sets there uh again i know i've said this multiple times now but if you don't glue the stuff together uh the the roofs and stuff everything's modular so you can you can make your uh make sure defenses fit on your other train kits in the edge of the quarantine zone system here uh the, the weirdscapes they all are designed to fit and work together so go crazy that's what i'm saying but that's what's in the box so let's do it open it on up here lots of plastic a couple of the bits popped off because 
I've been flipping these boxes like a pizza or something. I don't know. Um, you don't flip pizza. Whatever. <laughs> here we go. Let's get started here. Another bit. So this looks like it's part of the fountain set or fountain for the set, I should say. Uh, let me flip it over. Actually, I think we get a better idea. No. Nope. Okay. So that's supposed to be. Oh, that's the water. I was wondering what that is. So the water. Uh, that's the top part of the fountain. There's the edges of the fountain. You're gonna glue that on top. Um, and then it's got this crazy dragon thing that goes on top of the uh, the fountain too. It probably spits the water out. Um, but there you have it. There, the scales on the dragon look really cool. Uh, it does remind me of the shingles on the roof of the other kits. So overall, aesthetically, all everything's um, combined and everything aesthetically fits thematically appropriate. <laughs> Here's uh, half of that, uh, uh, what is it, the ruined building there. So this looks like a wall section. Looks like something bad happened here. Um, blew, blew, uh, blew a hole in the wall or cracked the side of the wall or something. Maybe it was a bridge. The bridge collapsed. I don't, collapsed. I, I'm not sure. But lots of rubble. Here's a couple of different wall sections that you can glue to these bases to have your, here's a fourth one there, your, your makeshift defenses, which, hey, goes with the name, right? Here's the final sprue. Again, the other half of the building. Uh, there's some other uh, one of those posts. I guess you can you can use. There's a light like a light uh, light fixture. Some torches. Maybe it's a it's a signpost or something. Again, nice thick plastic. I love the love the sturdiness of this stuff. Once you get it built, it really does uh, take some punishment to. <laughs> I'm not saying go chuck them in the street or anything, but they might survive if you use the right glue. So, um, again, love the detail on all of these kits. Lots of uh, lots of area to grab paint and uh, make it look good. So, spend your time making these look pretty, and you will be rewarded. Anyway, that was uh, the makeshift defenses sprue. Again, earlier I uh, looked at the pathway sprue. These kits are out from Weird. Again, part of the Weirdscape series. Uh, the edge of quarantine of the quarantine zone designed for use in both the other side and Malifo, um fits with all those models thematically and uh it's just part of the uh, the weird universe so go check them out i'm adam here from bowls thanks for watching click to subscribe check out more videos and thanks for watching